born into a middle class family in Hubli. Ajit Prabhu took his first step into entrepreneurship when he was in the 8th standard. My friends, uh, they lived in a family which had like cars. So one day I asked my mom, why don't we have a car? My mom said it's for rich people. You got to be rich means you got to do business. So I ended up uh, asking my parents to, you know, let me start a business. And uh, in the 8th grade, the first business that I got exposed to was selling incense sticks. And I finished my uh, engineering degree here. Then I went to uh, the States. Ended up with a job in uh, General Electric as a contractor. While working with GE, Ajit Prabhu found an interesting business opportunity. My manager was sitting with uh, lots of resumes. We didn't have enough engineers. He made a comment, you know, hey, these local service providers here, you know, they don't understand what I need. So then I realized that, you know, I know exactly what he needs. And so one fine day I communicated to him that, uh, you know, I'm starting a business. So I'll give you the engineers that uh, you need. That's how the quest started. And our business grew in a matter of uh, five years. But Ajit Prabhu's journey was not a smooth one. Uh, the GE power generation was in a doldrum. So those orders uh, dried up. So internally I reorganized the team. Diversification uh, became the mantra. We got Rolls Royce and Quest uh, you know, partnered together and then uh, offering our services to all these customers in uh, power generation, oil and gas, aero engines, uh, aerospace defense and transportation, and healthcare. That close relationship that Ajit demonstrated with each of these potential customers became the cornerstone of his leadership. Today, Quest has more than 7,500 employees and a global presence with acquisitions like Interface, GKN Business, Beacon and Nest Software. So uh, the goal is to build a billion dollar plus organization by uh, 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ajit Prabhu. <laughs>